a lot of the media and um, uh, early stage CEOs that have tried to replicate compelling user experiences have focused on the swipe, mm -hmm. which has picked up a lot of attention. Swipe left, swipe right, it's become mm -hmm. a meme. Yeah. But the reality is that I, I think that's not why Tinder is successful. Um, the swipe is a manifestation of something that was the insight around the product experience that made it successful. So uh, let's revert back to not thinking about product features um, and what type of features you want in an app and how you'd want to manifest that between how a human interacts with a machine and instead think about um, what are we actually trying to solve for. So if we go back to first principles and think about the experience around social discovery uh, we can use a real-life example and then emulate that and see if uh, there's an experience that could be built that could solve for that. It's really about a double-blind introduction model. Um, that's really the uh, product insight that we had that led to Tinder, and the application of the swipe was the product manifestation that allowed people to engage with it very easily. So how did we come up with that? Um, uh, let's start with the human condition, which is... Uh, I'm lonely and I want to meet someone. Or let's take a more real life example where you walk into a restaurant and there's someone sitting at the bar and you find that person attractive and maybe you'd want to go have a conversation with that person. Um, the difficulty of going to do that is really your risk aversion. Uh, so if you're, um, if you're feeling intimidated and you don't want to go have a conversation with that person, then you never end up getting to a stage where you meet that person. But if someone came that was a mutual friend over to you and whispered in your ear and suggested that that person was also interested in talking to you, it fundamentally changes the risk equation. Mm -hmm. uh, and suddenly, probably by an order of magnitude, the likelihood of your willingness to go over to talk to that person has increased. Right. And so essentially, you've uh, created a double-blind introduction model whereby uh, you're getting matched on mutual interest. Uh, the match happens when two people show mutual interest. Um, but the insight is instead of innovating on a product feature or creating a user profile, which is what most uh, companies that were competing in the space um, back in 2011, 2012 were focused on, um, what Tinder did was they solved the human problem, which is the feeling, the risk aversion that we incur when we're trying to um, express interest in somebody and that holds us back. So it first solved the human psychology, mm -hmm. and then there's an important question to ask after you've understood that product insight is, can that solution, in this, in this case the double-blind introduction model, be delivered programmatically? <clears throat> and that's where software plays a role. Mm -hmm. Can software do what you've uh, invented as a solution? And in the case of Tinder, the answer was yes. Mm -hmm. So when you roll that out programmatically, you end up getting exactly what you see, which is a, ch a binary choice of yes or no, and the manifestation of that is a swipe, and that delivers a compelling product experience. You've just taken away the fear that the person's just going to say no, and I'm going to be embarrassed in some point. Exactly. So how does that then get manifested into the product and into the iconic interface? Uh, it manifests itself in presenting someone that you might say yes or no to, and then to make the decision process much faster, um, instead of having to touch a yes or no button, you can use what is the natural thumb motion, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, by holding a smartphone and then swiping right or swiping left. But and the same effect could be had with a different, you know, the core, what you're saying is that the core of it is not the swiping. Correct. It's the fact that it is actually dealing with the psychological fear that you have. That's right. It's the double-blind introduction model solved programmatically. Right. The manifestation of the swipe, which was developed by our designer Chris and Jonathan Bettine, who I give a lot of credit to for implementing an incredibly easy-to-use uh, uh, gesture uh, in, inside the app that, that then became more iconic, ultimately um, that is an expression of what you could have done with a yes or no button. So mm -hmm. you could have had the same product experience and potential success of Tinder, but if you had the swipe but didn't have the double-blind model, it wouldn't have worked.